Good evening. Yes, dare to dream again. That is the topic for tonight. And then um, I'll be using myself as as example. And I, I like to tell and I like to tell stories about myself so that um, our guests can know that these things are possible. They are not um, abstract. They are not things that are not possible. Or somebody just telling you something that they cannot do or has not been done. In this room today, we have four star managers, we have three star managers, we have people aspiring to be directors, and then um, I am a two star manager, just as I've been introduced, and I'm gearing up to run very fast so that I can become three star in no distant time. And then, um, dare to dream again. It's something that came to me like um, barely two years ago. I've been around, I've, I've known this company for a while, but it has not been that, um, as in, you know, when something hits you or when you come to a realization, but something happened just less than two years ago and that realization done on me. And that is what I'll be talking about today. Dare to dream again. What is, what is a dream or what are dreams? I call it a succession. You know, when you have succession, um, you have images, you have ideas, you have emotions, things that just come to you, like sensation, that they occur involuntarily. It's not as if you call for them or you deliberately want, although sometimes maybe some things happen to you and you go to sleep, you can now dream about those things. Sometimes there are solutions and sometimes they are showing you the way forward or what you need to do. They are involuntary actions that happen in our minds. Sometimes when you are sleeping, sometimes you are wide awake. But the dream I want to talk about is the dream that you had as a little child growing up. I know a lot of us growing up, we had so many dreams. If I ask us here now, that what were the dreams that we had when we were growing up, you hear all kinds of things, all sorts of things. I remember then um, in the medical school, when our lecturer, one of our lecturers was telling us that majority of the people that ended up doing chemistry, microbiology, and um, medical lab sciences, and sometimes pharmacy. There are people that wanted to become doctors, but JAM did not allow them, and they just branch off and they feel, let me take this one. I can't go back and start writing JAM again. And we had a lot of us in the class then. And those are some dreams that for some people it didn't come to pass. But what I have come to tell us today is that our dreams, we can dare to dream again. We can dust it off and dream again. A dream could be an idea or vision that is created in our imagination. Is an idea or vision that is created in our imagination. Something that we all we, we really want to do. It's been a long time. Like if some of for some of us growing up, we build some things. Some people play with sand and they build all kinds of castles, they build all build all kinds of things, and a lot of people tell you they want to do this, they want to do that. But life happens. Life happens, and those things don't come to pass. But I have come to bring us the good news that those dreams can actually come to pass again. You can actually dust it up and let it come to pass. Let me pause here to ask us, maybe you type in the um, chat box there, what are the dreams you had growing up? As in when you were growing, you had these dreams, you were like, uh, these are the things I want to do, these are the things that 
I, for me, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that. Can, can we see some few examples of what people really wanted to do growing up? And I have some in the chat box. Okay, to be married before age 25, to have a large poultry farm. Let's keep them coming. What are the, were the dreams we had growing up? Growing up, I had a dream that I want to have supermarket. I want to have big supermarket where people can come in to shop for all kinds of things. That was what I wanted to do. Yes, yeah, somebody said I want to own a large boutique. Some other person said I want to own houses. I wanted a large supermarket that can serve my community. And growing up, things were not as good as they seem, as if something passed the dream. And my dream, my aspiration did not go the way I wanted it. Yeah, I went, somebody said to live in a mansion. It's a very large compound with cars. Yes, those are some of the dreams we used to have then. I would build mansion. I would um, have a plane. I would do this. I would do that. Those were the dreams we had as a little boy, a little child, uh, um, children growing up. And then as little children, we had this energy, this bubbling and bursting um, energy inside of us that would just allow us to dream all kinds of dreams. They were so, so real to us. Nobody can tell you that, ah, my friend, stop dreaming. They, they felt so real. So what happens? What happened to those dreams? If somebody listening to me this evening, what happened to those dreams? Tonight, I have come to challenge us to go back to the dreaming room. Let's go back to that dreaming room where everything is possible. Everything is possible. Yes, life happened. For so many of us, we couldn't read the courses we wanted to study in the university. For some other people, some life challenges that just crept up and we couldn't do those things that we dreamt of, those things that were right in, in, in our um, medulla then. All of those dreams, they just as, as if they fizzled out. As somebody said, I failed chemistry and I was evicted from the class. Yes, life happens, a lot of things. I, I remember my son, writing um, Waek, and um, he didn't do too well in mathematics to study the course he wanted. And when he saw the result, he was crying. He said, mommy, this is not my result. This is not my result. <laughs> I was like, whose result is it then? He said, this cannot be my result. They can't, I cannot fail math. This is not your sport. Me, fail math. I said, calm down, calm down. See, you can dream again. If life is telling you that you failed mathematics, there are things that you can do. He said, no, is that cost or nothing else? Okay, there's still GCE, you can go pick a GCE form, pick um, uh, do NECO, and let's, let's start from there. And NECO came, GCE result came, he passed everything at um, those two exams. And he came back home, he was so happy. He said, yes, this, this is my result, this is my result. And it is good and it is possible for us to dream again. All we need to do is go back to the dreaming room. Today, I've come to show us how we can get that bubbling energy again. That bus, bus, bubbling energy that we had as children, that everything is possible. You know, when the children watch cartoon, in cartoon, everything is possible. Everything is possible. They can do and undo in cartoons. 
and our children feel, yes, that is how life is actually. But today, I want to tell you that it is actually possible to get that your bubbling energy back by just going to the dreaming room where everything is possible. So today, life happens. Yes, we have said it, life happens. But there is this popular saying that if life gives you lemon, you make lemonade. How do you do that? By simply adding sugar. You add sugar to it and it becomes lemonade. It sweetens it. At least you can easily drink it. So life has happened, fine. But you don't sit down there and feel that is the end. Let the inner entrepreneur be awakened. And let a flood of new impressions catapult, catapult us to those new places, to that dream, that dream that we used to have, to, that we used to have back then. Let's type, I will wake up in the chat box. I will wake up from today. Let us wake up. Let that entrepreneur wake up inside of us. I remember as a, a, a primary school um, child, as a, a student in primary school, I'm talking about primary two, primary three, thereabout. Then I used to sell, as in, how old was I then? Maybe eight years or so. I used to sell things in the school. My parents don't know about it though. Yes, I will wake up. Let's wake up today. I used to sell things. I was going to, to buy, I will buy sweets from a woman that used to sell in carton. I will buy a whole pack of sweets and I will take it to my school and I will sell it in my class. One, one cobble, I will sell it and I will make profit. I will be happy. I will be happy with myself. And it kept on going on and on like that. In fact, um, it's, it's a joke in my home now. I used to even sell my, <laughs> our last born, the baby food. I used to tie it inside small, small nylon and take it to school and sell. You know, it's very sweet. They, I will sell it as milk. They will buy and be licking in the class. And I was doing well then until one day when my dad caught me with some amount of money. And he was like, where did you get this money from? I told him, it's my money. He said, I know it's your money. Where did you get the money from? I now explain what I was doing to him. He said, what? At age eight, you have started selling in the school. So what do you want to become? A market woman. You want to become a market woman. You don't want to go to school. And that uh, restructured my brain. And I think I lost it. But... All along, I had always wanted to sell. Though I don't know how to really sell much, but I, I just want to talk to people and tell them what I have. And like I said, two years ago, I met an opportunity. This opportunity just came to me on a platter of gold. Our host for today was... Um, a friend back then, he just called me up and told me, send me um, 10,000 Naira. I said, for what? She said, there's an opportunity. Send 10,000 Naira. I will, I will register you and you will learn about it later. And because he's somebody I trust a lot, I sent the 10,000 Naira. And today, the rest is history. She did the registration. And later she called me and said, you need to add 30,000 to make it 40,000 so that you can be full-fledged member and a bona fide member and be earning and be doing things. And I also sent the money and I was learning under a tutelage. And one day I was in the class like this when a, a bulb just sparked in my head. And that was when I saw the table of what is possible in this company. I saw that table. And you know, along the line, I, I lost my father and um, I lost my mom. 
and who will help me to do the supermarket and whatever. My salary working, to, of course, you know what salary means. You get the salary today. Somebody said, take home that you cannot even take you home. Even before you collect the salary, you have shared everything. And for you to go through the month, you are now looking up to God to supply all your needs according to his riches. And my husband was not interested in buying and selling. And the dream just fizzled out. And I continued until I met this opportunity. And when this opportunity came, it was like a blank paper, like a blank piece of paper that somebody is giving to you. Write anything you want there. And I quickly reset my dream. Now, what was it that I wanted to do? What was it that I really wanted in my life? And I looked at it and said, wow, yes, this is the kind of life I've always dreamt about. I remember back then in school, these were the things we talk about. These are the things that we feel want, we want in our life. And I quickly wrote in the piece of paper, my dream back then to own a supermarket, a big one at that, that can serve my community and gradually take it to other places and begin to have like a chain business. But the money was an issue. Where will I get money to do that kind of a business? Where will I get money to do that something of that magnitude? And this opportunity came. And with this opportunity, you can start building gradually. It's not something that you just hit like a jackpot one day and the whole thing will fizzle out in the next day. In this opportunity, I've been able to be inspired. And I've been able to connect with different people. Like I said, our host was one of the people I connected to. And I've been inspired. I've been able to connect with people. And I've been empowered now. I've been empowered to achieve my dreams. And I'm on the process to achieving this dream. It has started. I've, I've started the, the first one is in progress. And then um, I remember one of the meetings we have in Team Tribe and then um, my helpline was telling me that you don't stop there. You need to open another one and open another one and make that dream big and widen it. And I am at, in the process of doing that. And it's just because of that one opportunity to dream again. So the opportunity is coming to every one of us today. It's like a blank check, a, a blank piece of paper that is given to us for us to write whatever we want in that blank uh, paper. For our imagination to fly in any direction that we want it to fly. And we can create a whole new thing for ourselves. We can create a whole new life for ourselves. Before we can start up anything, just like I said, for myself, something happened. Like I wrote in my, um, my, my right of the advert for this um, program, that before you, something, you can be successful in anything, whatever it is, there must be a, a light bulb that must come up in, in one's head. A scene, something that you just see, like um, Michael E. Gaba called it moment of inspiration. That is just like something, a scale is falling off your eyes. That you see the possibility that, wow, so things like this can actually happen to me again. A sudden scene, a sudden awareness that comes upon you. In Green Mondays, we call it the light bulb that just come on suddenly in your head. And you are like, what? So this thing can actually happen. It's inside every human being. But the day that it will come up differs. Yours may come up today. It may be at another meeting. But I will encourage you to give it a try. It is rare. And it's an indelible moment. 
that can change the whole life of a human being. Like I said, the mission of this company is to inspire, to connect, and empower you. And if this happens, you can now achieve your dream. So today, I am encouraging us to dare to dream again. And if you want to dare to dream again, what are the possibilities? What are the things that can happen to you? Number one, to fulfill that dream that you have. And apart from fulfilling the dream, you know, the happiness, the joy that comes from being fulfilled, the joy, the happiness that comes from being fulfilled, that, wow, so I can actually do this thing. So I can actually do this thing. Like I said, that when this thing happened to me, I saw that figure. Please, Emma, can you show us that um, figure where you have the different uh, amount? Yes, that one, exactly. Thank you, Mark. When I saw this table, I was like, excuse me, is this thing actually possible? Is this income actually possible on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis? Is it true? Can this thing really be true? And I spoke with few people in this company and I found out that some of them are already earning this amount. I was like, wow, if this person can earn this, if this person can earn that, they don't have two heads. That means I can actually do it too. And these are the kind of amounts that will give me that dream that I actually want to uh, make a reality of having, French, um, of having my supermarket in different locations supermarket becoming a chain business where you have different, um, the same business in different locations and it's a household name. And I began to study the table. I'm, a, I'm like, wow, if I can end this in a month or even in a year and it begin to grow like this, then my dream will come to pass. My dream certainly will come to pass. And because of this awareness, this knowing, I took a step. And the step is what I want to share with us today, especially with our visitors, our guests. That's the dream I want to share with us today, that these things can be possible. You know, at the end of some months, when I open my, my back office and I see some rewards, that end time, I begin to ask myself, where did this one come from? Where did this one come from? And I begin to do the calculation. I don't really understand where they are coming from. But of course, they are there, and that means it is mine. And one thing I realized is that this thing requires work. Your dream will not just fall on you as a platter, uh, on a platter of gold or bread and butter. There is work that is required. There is work that must be done. And the work is not only for you. Like I said earlier, I saw some rewards. I don't know where they are coming from. And that means some other people have done some things that is hard enough for me to be rewarded. And that is the work that must be done. For us to survive and to thrive, you don't just sit down and be waiting on heaven to pour it upon you. You do the work and with the power of leverage, other people working together with you, it is going to be easy and it is going to be achieved. Like we know the acronym team means together, everyone achieves more. Together, everyone achieves more. That means the little I do plus the little you do plus the little the other person does to make it all gel together and we achieve a whole lot. And this is another table before us. But this one I am trying to comprehend. I've not been able to comprehend it yet. 
because it is much, much more. Even me, I need to enter the dreaming room again to be able to comprehend this particular table before us. And most of the time, we focus on the negative. Most of the time, we focus on the negative. How can it be possible? This kind of income, where, where on earth? Where on earth can this be possible? Who will give you this kind of thing? Why not do your own part? Why not do your own bit? And do it little, little, little here and there. When I started, I said I, I dropped the first 10,000. And later, I had to drop another 30,000. And I was building like that gradually. And now, it's even easier. You know, something happened last week. I was talking to um, a guy that with 500 Naira, 500 Naira, you can begin this journey. And the guy said, it's a lie, it's a lie. And when we got talking and he saw the possibility, he was like, oh boy, I'm going to do this thing. And within, within um, last week, Monday and today, the guy has brought in seven people. He said, Ashebi is this um, small amount, as in 500 naira. And if we, when they buy products, the thing um, grows. And this man I'm talking about, this guy, is somebody that I've been trying to convince because he had some health, health issues. And I've been trying to tell him, why not try this? He said, mm, I beg, all the drugs I've been using, I've not been able to help. Is it this one that will help? And he has refused to come on. He has refused to even try it. And as God we have it, he came to meet me in the office to do NIN registration. And after the registration, he just gave him two 30 mils bottle. Just dash. He said, he's not paying. He's not. I said, no, just a dash. Just for you to, to have even come all the way. Come and do your registration in our center. Take and go and use it. And that was it. He took the two bottles and two days later, he called and said, please, I need a big bottle. I sent the, big, uh, the 250 mils to him. He used the 250 mils. And like um, four days after that, he called again and said, I want the 500 mils. I said, hey, Mr. Man, cool down. What is happening? He said, hey, do you know what happened? The first um, 30 mils, the two 30 mils I gave him, he said he, he's been living with headache, as in constant headache, every blessed day, that the headache is permanently there. He has found a way of living with it and just moving on with his life. But the headache is permanently there. After using just one bottle, the small one, he used it in the morning and in the night. And the following day, he said the headache was nowhere to be found. And he was like, oh, I don't think so. I, 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 something is happening, I, but I don't want to believe it. And the following day, he took it again, morning, night, and the headache was not there. He said, okay. That was when he called for the 250 meal. After that, he said he has not eaten anything that is dairy in the last four or five years. Because if he tries it, he will not see with his eyes for this. It would be, look as if there's a peppery sensation, as if they pour sand in his eyes and the thing will be peppering. He said, so he has stopped eating it completely. He has tried, they have given him all sorts of things. It has persisted, so it does not go near. And because of the experience of the headache going, he decided to start with, um, okay, let me see what will happen. He told the wife, make a, a bar for me. And the wife said, hey, I don't want trouble. He said, I, I, let's experiment now. If the headache is gone, I want to see. Maybe true, true, this thing is working. And the wife make a bar for him. In his own world, though, I finished a bowl of a bar. And I was waiting. And my eyes refused to pain me. My eyes refused to bring out water and the peppery sensation, everything gone. 
and he came back and said, so what did you say about that business? And we started talking. Uh, you know, initially I told him the real price, the 40,000, the 75 and all the rest. And I now told him that even with 500 Naira, you can come on board. He said, is a guinea? I said, 500 Naira, you had me right. And the guy said, uh, sign me on. Now, 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 sign me on. And he gave me money to buy the, uh, to buy another um, 500 mil. And I signed him on. And within that period, he, he alone, he had sold to five, um, seven different persons and he has brought them on board. And he said, I will continue to tell everybody, this one oh, that this drug has done to me or this uh, supplement has done to me, I will broadcast it to everybody I know. And as they are coming in, I can now achieve my dream. It's as simple as that. You are getting results. Life is becoming better. You can live a normal life again. You can live a healthy life again. And at the same time, you achieve your dream. You kill two birds with one stone. And that is the opportunity I present to Ross this evening. And it's an amazing product. It's an amazing opportunity. It's not about selling. I tell people, I don't really go um, from door to door and say, come and buy this, come and buy this. I just give out, like we've been taught, to give. And when you give, it come back to you in folds. Because people will always come back. Out of Every 10 person you give with the 30 meals, the small bottle, at least eight of them will call you. Or let's not even um, say it in a way that people would think it's an exaggeration. Let's say six of them come back. And the six coming back to say, okay, I want to buy. I want to be part of it. And we know what that six, the, 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 when you do the... The mathematics, there is a way we call it compound. When you compound it, what it will give to you, the six can give birth to thousands. And that is what we are experiencing presently. And these are the pictures of some of the products. Like if you, you are selling somebody, you are selling the 500 ml to somebody now for 5,000 naira, and the person comes on board. And the person uses the product, and the person sees the good work and tells another person. And the person tastes the product also, sees the good work and tells another person. And all of them are coming in gradually. And that takes us back to the first pic uh, picture where you see the income. It does not come in a day. You see it, 100 Naira here, 200 Naira here, 1,000 Naira there, 5,000 Naira there, and it's accumulating. And it's compound. It is compounded at the end of the day. And by the time you know it, you can actually achieve those figures. Like I said, we can dream again. Stop looking at the negative aspects. Yes, Nigeria is not doing too well now, but can we shift focus? To the positive aspect. At least there is something good that is coming out of Nigeria. There is something wonderful that can be sent to different parts of the world. A friend of mine, just in a group I belong to, she just wrote there, please help me in prayer. I am not feeling too well, this and this and that. And I said, ah, no problem. After the meeting, I just connected with her and said, I can send this product to you, use the product, experience it, and then let's pick it up from there. They said, I am open to anything, just send. And this person is not in Nigeria. And I've been praying that God should open up my business in other um, countries of the world. And I sent the product. After a lot of um, back and forth, she received the product. She has started using the product. and. People around her 
they are seeing the difference, they are seeing the changes, and everybody is asking her, where did you get this product? And now she's calling me and say, I think I get what you were saying, that by the time people see, you don't even need to force them to buy. You don't even need to beg anybody. They begin to ask for it themselves. As I speak, I'm looking for a way to send more cartons so that she can become a distributor in her own place and begin to share the goodness and improve people's health and also make money by the side. And this money I'm talking about is not small, small money. At the end of the day, when you see the, the, the compound interest on it, the way the whole thing is moving, you find out that it's something that except you have a strong mind, you, you can't believe it, that this thing is possible. Courage plus risk will give us the expansion that we need. We need to step into the power and feel the confidence that this thing can work. Dare to dream again. What are the dreams that you have pushed aside because of money? Maybe you wanted to do some things to help some people, but money will not allow you to do them. This is a very good opportunity for you to bring up those dreams again. Because by the time you plug into this opportunity, and you see the possibility, and you run with the vision, the money will come, you can actually bring your dream back and begin to help people like you actually wanted to do. Like part of my dream was to help the young ones around me to go to school. And the dream is gradually coming to pass now. There are work to be done and actions to be taken for the dreams to come true. Don't let anyone steal your dream. Don't let anyone tell you it's not possible. Like I was told I was too young to do this, but now I am not too young to do it again. And I'm actually doing those things and fulfilling my dreams. It's your dream, it's not theirs. The dream does not belong to any other person. It is yours. So today, I will encourage you to go for it. Go all out to make that dream a reality. Go all out to make sure that as you have dreamt it, you dare it and you do it. Dream it, dare it, and do it. And in the daring, the dream will come to pass. In daring to do it, somebody said in, in, uh, in doing, you experience it. Yes. As you begin to see the income coming in, it gears you up to do more. It gears you up to want to go all out. I remember the, the last challenge we had. You know, before this challenge, there was the sales mastery class, and our team did very well. I'm, I'm proud to say it. My team came first in the sales, uh, sales uh, mastery class and in the challenge team again, my team also came first. And within it, the space of one and a half months, I was able to sign up like seven, eight persons. It has never happened before. For like two years that I've been in this company, it has never happened before. But when I saw that table, I began to study it gradually, that come, this thing is actually possible. If in a month, I can see this kind of income coming in, why not do more the following month and see what happens? And as I put in more effort and help my team, I see something else happening, some growth, some new things coming up. And as I, as I speak, we are dreaming and we are daring it in my team because everybody wants to see it come to pass. Everybody wants to see that possibility. This thing they are talking about, is it really true? Is it really possible? So if you are here in the room today, especially to our guests, you have dreams that you have pushed aside because money has become an issue. 
Don't let money stop you from achieving those dreams. Don't let money push your dream away. Don't let money make you in, in, in years to come begin to think that, ah, these are the things I actually wanted to do. Or when you see people doing those things, you begin to ask yourself, ah, why didn't I do this thing? And I wanted to do them. Don't let money be the limiting factor. You can actually make all the money you want to make. Like um, uh, our MD used to say, money is not the issue. Do you see the possibility? Can you see the vision? Can you see in the um, five years, 10 years, can you, can you actually close your eyes and dream what is possible? And like Emma used to say, it's the beginning that you know. You don't know what can happen tomorrow. You don't know what may likely come up in the next two years. You don't know the, the, the level that this company could have propelled you to in the next two, three years. So if I guess tonight, it's a good time to come on board. It's a very perfect time for you to come on board because something new, something different has just started in this company. We are giving everybody opportunity to come on board. Everybody can now do this. You cannot say, hey, I don't have 40,000 Naira. That's why I've not been able to join the company. Now, it has been, um, like somebody called it, it's now pure water. Everywhere you go, you, you, can, you can come on board and begin to build gradually, begin to build gradually, and you build to the um, VIP level. It is possible. I am a testimony. I am a witness to that. I started with 10,000, added 30,000 to make 40,000, and from 40,000 to 75,000 to 140 to three um, to 400 and then to 750 getting to VIP. So it is very, very possible. If only you can dream it, if only you can see where you are going to. If you don't eat all the profit as the rewards are coming, you don't withdraw everything and go and start buying HUAB and all the rest. If you plug in and you begin to put the money back, you can easily see the growth and you see how you are growing gradually. And a, a, a little drop of water, they say, per time will eventually make an ocean. So if you are here today, you are not yet plugged in. This is a very good opportunity for you to grab the person that invited you. For you to grab the person that told you about this opportunity and say, I will not let you go until you show me how to come on board, how to build and make my dream come to pass, make my dream possible again. That dream that I thought will never see the light of the day, how I can begin to gather and, you know, the, um, this thing that children used to play, you begin to fix them in like a, puzzle, you begin to put them in one after the other. And at the end of the day, you can build your mansion, can build your castle and build whatever you want to build. And the, the sky is just the stepping stone in this opportunity because you can, on a platter of gold, get travels without you spending a, a, a dime. Thank you, let go. A children, they, they put together, you can build all kinds of things with, with it. So let it be like that. With little 500 here, 2005 here, 5,000 here. And I, I was telling somebody in the course of last week that if only you can stop all the drinks, this person can take two bottles, three bottles a day. And I was like, you know, drinks are, they are even expensive now. 150, 150 here and there. And by the time you gather the money together for one week, you know you have you will have even built to an extent in this company. And that is the beauty of it. You don't have to wait until you get a whole truck of money. You can just start with a small token that you can just dash away. 
you can start where you are today and begin to build. And let's build together. There is leverage, there is um, teamwork, there is training, all kinds of things that you can think of that this company has put together for us to be able to succeed and achieve our dream. So with this few points of mind, I hope I've been able to convince one person, just one person, to dare to dream again. Pick up your dream. It is possible. That dream is possible. You can actually achieve the dream. If you put in the necessary work, in the next five years, in the next seven years, you can actually achieve those dreams. Those dreams that when you think of, okay, I don't have worries for money. What are the things that you will have done? If you don't have worries for money, those dreams can still come to pass. Thank you for your time this evening. I've come to tell you, dare to dream again. Just those dreams. Go back to the dreaming room and sharpen those dreams. And come on board. Let's achieve the dream together. God bless you. Thank you. Emma.